I'm out here. It's Saturday afternoon, and I decided to come out today to follow up on my previous videos where I said I was going to go out and target some bluegill for a little bit. So I picked up some red worms, and I'm just going to put a cork on it, a bobber, and uh, cast up towards shorelines and see about catching some bluegill. So hang in with me, and we'll be to the fishing spot in just a few minutes. I signed up with red worms today. They were out of night crawlers uh, for bluegill, and I'm just going to take a really small piece and throw it on there. That should be enough for bluegill. And I swear, the bigger piece of worm you put on a hook, the easier the fish take them off. So we'll start with this, see if that's big enough, and we'll upgrade if we have to. Let's see what's out there. Okay, finally got a fish on. What do we got here? Well, we got what we want, just not big enough. There we go. Yeah, I adjusted the depth on this fork just a maybe five or six inches, and right away we got a solid hit. Let's see if that keeps up. Yep, I just missed it because I was busy trying to get to the trolling motor. All right, was that our bait? Let's get back over there. See if he's still feisty. There we go. Again, small. This lake has some really decent bluegill, but these aren't, these aren't the ones. that one. Bluegill will seriously test your reflexes. That one's lively and it's hanging off the hook pretty good too. That should be a good spot. That was right away. Yeah, that's a little bigger, but it's still small. Just enough drift going on to make this a little bit of a pain. There we go. No. Short and fat here. Sticking up out of the water. Let's see if there's anything right there. Yep. Oh, that's a small little one. Oh my. That's like catfish bait. I don't know. Catfish and we'll throw it back in, but tiny. Now still toss around just in case, but well, there was one I wasn't expecting. Not very big. Some nice colors. Fish on. Yeah, 
come here now. Okay, we'll throw that one back. There we go. A lot of small stuff. better. Oh, it's still bad. Yeah, look bigger. Sunfish must be on the other end of the lake or something. That feels better. We'll see. Short and fat. It's okay. I wouldn't take that home, but it's okay. Had him and lost him. again. Mm. That was casual. Okay, small guy. That's the story of the day. Small, small fry back in the water. Okay, I'm done with bluegill for now. I'm kind of bored. Yeah, I'm just going to see about landing some crappie with this chartreuse jig. See if that still follows what I found last time.
Maybe if I'd been catching some really big bluegill, I would have kept at it, but four, five, six inch bluegill don't keep me going. There we go, it feels good. There's not a bad crappie there. So it seems they prefer the darker color right now as opposed to the chartreuse. But we'll see how that continues. Feels like a good fish. It's not bad. But he pulled down to begin with. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, crappie time. Not very big. All right, folks, that's it for today. Got a little bluegill fishing in. Got a little crappie fishing in, not much. We caught a nice big catfish by surprise. Was able to get it in the boat. That was exciting. And then I had a dilemma I had to deal with. I had some red worms left over. And I could have taken them home, put them in the refrigerator, but I probably won't bluegill fish for a while. So I could either dump them in the lake and feed the fish or I could take them home and throw them in my yard and let them fertilize my soil so the grass would grow. So let me tell you how I made that decision. I love fishing a whole lot more than I cut grass so I dump the worms in the water for the fish and that is how you make a tough decision. Anyway, tight lines, fair fishing. I'll see y'all next time.